Hey, HXR Smurf, uh, PNG Assassin here for another tutorial. This will be a huge uh, redo, remake, or what have you of the popular handbrake tutorial. I'll also include how to rip a DVD. This, uh, just a sec. There we go. So, what they do is under the fair use copyright in the United States, you can make one backup copy of uh, your DVD. TV show, Blu-ray, or what have you. Unfortunately, they have protections and whatnot to prevent people from using that one legal backup and just uploading it to the internet. Obviously, I'm not a legal, I should not be legal counsel, but from what I know of the fair use copyright agreement in the United States, you can make one backup copy. <clears throat> So, what that means is you can use Make MKV. You can find it at makemkv.com. Make um, it's, uh, you pay for it if you want to rip Blu rays. It's, uh, I think it's $50. Let's see. Let's try to find it. Well, I don't want to download it, so. I think it's like fifty dollars or a hundred dollars. Honestly, in my opinion, it's not too bad because this is some of the best software out there. I've tried uh, any DVD; it's it's all right, but this is a lot better. It's more more ease of use in the UI. However, Make MKV offers a f trial for the Blu-ray, and when your trial o is over after thirty days, you can rip DVDs only for free which is pretty sweet so what you do is just download it for Mac or Windows I believe it's Mac yeah Mac or Windows and you just open it up and you'll come up with this so I've inserted a DVD I own called uh, I think yeah I inserted uh, Princess Mononoke by Ghibli Studios and it's in my Blu-ray drive so you just click this big old button and it starts scanning the DVD. What this does is it gets past copyright and stupid security stuff where I just want to like watch my movie, you know? Because I think in some of the DVDs I own, I can't even watch it with VLC player or uh, Windows Media Player. It's trash. I, I don't know. So this can take some time to depending on how secure the DVD or Blu-ray is. And it also puts out a log file, as you can see right here. So it automatically gets the VOB files, which are the raw DVD files, and sees uh, if they're too short, they'll, they'll be skipped for titles. If they're too... Um, if they're corrupt, oh, the right here, if they're corrupt, it'll try to fix it. And, uh, see here it found the title. Title number one was added. It's a two-hour movie. It's pretty good, though. You should check it out. So, yeah, it just breaks it down for you and tells you what's up. And also gives you a small progress bar. Although it says 16, 18 minutes, it shouldn't take that long. Sometimes they do. I don't really pay attention because Make MKV doesn't use that many resources for my computer. Yeah, it's using 50%, so I can actually play a game while I'm doing this. But, uh... Yeah, we'll just, uh, wait for that. Alright, well, that was quick. So it comes up with this little screen and output folder. I actually changed this to... My, uh ripped or neat converted folder. This is on a terabyte hard drive and I have them organized so, so let's see. So I have like neat converted then I have converted with subtitles. I, I love subtitles so I use subtitles and use handbrake to open them up. So I've converted all these movies and whatnot. So you can click, uh, I usually do right click, unselect all, 
then I click the title I expand it and make sure all these are clicked because I don't want to I just like select all I don't want to take the time now to unclick French and Japanese then you just click make MKV and it does it bam bam slam um, it will make a pretty big file looks like 5.9 gigabytes that's a fairly big size for a DVD um, just trying to resize this window so if you want to convert it down you can with handbrake and also into a better format um, some devices like iPods and most computers can run MKVs with uh, Windows Movie Movie Player or or Media Player, whatever it is, and VLC. I personally use VLC. However, it's a pretty big file, and I stream to my PS3 with a with a pro with a operating system called FreeNAS, and it uses Mini DLNA, which streams to Xbox and PS3. So done with Make. So let's say we want to convert it. So normal should be good. It, I think I would highly recommend just converting it to normal so you can add subtitles or what have you. So let's try this. Um, here, here's another Ghibli Studio. Um, so normal just helps it downscale I guess I mean you don't really need six gigabytes I mean it's pretty much the same but uh, what I do is I click uh, my PS3 user preset but uh, I make sure the I don't think the aspect ratio mat matters that much because handbrake de automatically detects the extra black on the top and the bottom of the movie but I like having it just standard so it's uh, the source is 720 by 480 Blu-rays will be uh, 1920 by 1080. So I just change this in the picture. Then I go over to video, and I can do average bitrate, and I think I can do file size. Maybe they took that out. But uh, I usually do average bitrate, and the bitrate uh, is 2,500 for mm, for like uh, good PS3 streaming. If you have a Wi, it's over Wi-Fi, but you could have it even higher if you're on a Ethernet. An audio. Sometimes with some of the movies, the audio isn't English for its first thing. So, for instance, I have the Fast and Furious collection, and it has Japanese as the first audio, which is weird. So I actually converted it all, and it was in Japanese. So, anyways audio English of course subtitles add and you can uh, add any kind of subtitles you want you can even import SRTs which are files you can download from the internet I believe the second one is for the second um, angle maybe the fourth could be commentary I'm not sure but one is usually good then you can uh, browse for the destination and put it wherever the hell you want and you can either add it to queue or start. Um, the good thing about a queue is you can add like 20 DVDs or what have you, and then when done, shut down. So that's about it for the handbrake and make MKV tutorial. Just a few more things I want to add is DVDs are usually between four and seven gigabytes, and handbrake can get them down to maybe one to three gigabytes. Blu-rays that are ripped, um, those can range from 30 to 40 gigabytes. Um, one thing that helps converting them down to normal is the file size. I mean, so let's say you have a terabyte. Let's say you have a terabyte of space. So how many raw Blu-rays could you store? We'll say 40. You can only store 25 Blu-rays if you have a terabyte hard drive which I do and I think that would be the most the average usually laptops and consumer grade hardware is like 500 gigabytes so I have 50 blu-rays I suspect most of you have more than that or more than 25 blu-rays and this isn't counting the storage you, you lose because they can they can actually have like 800 or 
what have you. So let's say it's 800. Well, let me let me check mine. My terabyte hard drive says I have 871 gigabytes. So they're ripping us off, but they can do that. So then divide that by 40. 21. I can store 21.75 Blu-rays. And as I said, I have 50. So it's good to convert them down. And I like doing it so I can just stream it. Kind of making my own mini Netflix at home. And then... Let's see... So, <clears throat> my other screen, I have, uh, let's see, 5050 starring uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt and who's that other guy? Seth Rogen. It's a, <clears throat> it's a, I think it's a 40 gigabyte raw file. It's down to just under 2 gigabytes. So, I mean, and it's the same quality, pretty much, with 2500 uh, bit rate. But uh, that's it for the Handbrake and Make MKV tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post in the comments. I'll definitely help.